Tanzania US UK officially the United Republic of Tanzania Swahili Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania is a country in eastern Africa within the African Great Lakes region It borders Uganda to the north Kenya to the northeast the Indian Ocean to the east Mozambique and Malawi to the south Zambia to the southwest and Rwanda Burundi and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west Mount Kilimanjaro Africa's highest mountain is in northeastern Tanzania some prehistoric population migrations into Tanzania include southern Cushitic speakers who moved south from Ethiopia, eastern Cushitic people who moved into Tanzania from north of Lake Turkana about 2,000 and 4,000 years ago, and the southern Nilotes, including the Datug, who originated from the present-day South Sudan-Ethiopia border region between 2,900 and 2,400 years ago. These movements took place at about the same time as the settlement of the Mashariki Bantu from West Africa in the Lake Victoria and Lake Tanganyika areas. They subsequently migrated across the rest of Tanzania between 2300 and 1700 years ago. European colonialism began in mainland Tanzania during the late 19th century when Germany formed German East Africa, which gave way to British rule following World War I. The mainland was governed as Tanganyika, with the Zanzibar archipelago remaining a separate colonial jurisdiction. Following their respective independence in 1961 and 1963, the two entities merged in April 1964 to form the United Republic of Tanzania. The United Nations estimated Tanzania's 2016 population at 55.57 million. The population is composed of several ethnic, linguistic, and religious groups. The sovereign state of Tanzania is a presidential constitutional republic and since 1996 its official capital city has been Dodoma where the President's Office, the National Assembly, and some government ministries are located. Dar es Salaam, the former capital, retains most government offices and is the country's largest city, principal port, and leading commercial center. Tanzania is a de facto one-party state with the democratic socialist Chama Cha Mapinduzi party in power. Tanzania is mountainous and densely forested in the northeast, where Mount Kilimanjaro is located. Three of Africa's Great Lakes are partly within Tanzania. To the north and west lie Lake Victoria, Africa's largest lake, and Lake Tanganyika, the continent's deepest lake, known for its unique species of fish. The eastern shore is hot and humid, with the Zanzibar archipelago just offshore. The Colombo Falls, located on the Colombo River at the Zambian border, is the second highest uninterrupted waterfall in Africa. The Menai Bay Conservation Area is Zanzibar's largest marine protected area. Over 100 different languages are spoken in Tanzania, making it the most linguistically diverse country in East Africa. The country does not have a de jure official language, although the national language is Swahili. Swahili is used in parliamentary debate, in the lower courts, and as a medium of instruction in primary school. English is used in foreign trade, in diplomacy, in higher courts, and as a medium of instruction in secondary and higher education, although the Tanzanian government is planning to discontinue English as a language of instruction altogether. Approximately 10% of Tanzanians speak Swahili as a first language, and up to 90% speak it as a second language. Etymology The name, Tanzania, was created as a clipped compound of the names of the two states that unified to create the country, Tanganyika and Zanzibar. The name, Tanganyika, is derived from the Swahili words tanga sail", and nyika uninhabited plain", wilderness", creating the phrase, sail in the wilderness. It is sometimes understood as a reference to Lake Tanganyika. The name of Zanzibar comes from Zenji, the name for a local people said to mean black, and the Arabic word bar, which means coast or shore. Topic: History. Topic: Pre-colonial The indigenous populations of eastern Africa are thought to be the linguistically isolated Hadza and Sanda hunter gatherers of Tanzania. The first wave of migration was by southern Cushitic speakers who moved south from Ethiopia into Tanzania. They are ancestral to the Iraqw, Goroa, and Burung. 
Based on linguistic evidence, there may also have been two movements into Tanzania of eastern Cushitic people at about 4,000 and 2,000 years ago, originating from north of Lake Turkana. Archaeological evidence supports the conclusion that southern Nilotes, including the Datug, moved south from the present day South Sudan Ethiopia border region into central northern Tanzania between 2,900 and 2,400 years ago. These movements took place at approximately the same time as the settlement of the iron making Mashariki Bantu from from West Africa in the Lake Victoria and Lake Tanganyika areas. They brought with them the West African planting tradition and the primary staple of yams. They subsequently migrated out of these regions across the rest of Tanzania between 2300 and 1700 years ago. Eastern Nilotic peoples, including the Maasai, represent a more recent migration from present day South Sudan within the past 500 to 1500 years. The people of Tanzania have been associated with the production of iron and steel. The Pear people were the main producers of highly demanded iron for peoples who occupied the mountain regions of northeastern Tanzania. The Haya people on the western shores of Lake Victoria invented a type of high heat blast furnace, which allowed them to forge carbon steel at temperatures exceeding 1,820 degrees Celsius degrees Fahrenheit more than 1,500 years ago. Travelers and merchants from the Persian Gulf and India have visited the East African coast since early in the first millennium AD. Islam was practiced by some on the Swahili coast as early as the 8th or 9th century AD. Colonial Claiming the coastal strip, Omani Sultan Said bin Sultan moved his capital to Zanzibar City in 1840. During this time, Zanzibar became the centre for the Arab slave trade. Between 65 and 90% of the Arab Swahili population of Zanzibar was enslaved. One of the most infamous slave traders on the East African coast was Tipu Tip, who was the grandson of an enslaved African. The Nyamwezi slave traders operated under the leadership of M. Siri and Mirambo. According to Timothy and Saul, "...figures record the exporting of 718,000 slaves from the Swahili coast during the 19th century, and the retention of 769,000 on the coast." In the 1890s, slavery was abolished. In the late 19th century, Germany conquered the regions that are now Tanzania minus Zanzibar and incorporated them into German East Africa The Supreme Council of the 1919 Paris Peace Conference awarded all of Haya to Britain on 7 May 1919, over the strenuous objections of Belgium. The British colonial secretary, Alfred Milner, and Belgium's minister plenipotentiary to the conference, Pierre Orts, then negotiated the Anglo-Belgian Agreement of 30 May 1919 where Britain ceded the northwestern Haya provinces of Rwanda and Arundi to Belgium. The conference's commission on mandates ratified this agreement on 16 July 1919. The Supreme Council accepted the agreement on 7 August 1919. On 12 July 1919, the Commission on Mandates agreed that the small Kianga Triangle south of the Rovuma River would be given to Portuguese Mozambique, with it eventually becoming part of independent Mozambique. The Commission reasoned that Germany had virtually forced Portugal to cede the triangle in 1894. The Treaty of Versailles was signed on 28 July 1919, although the treaty did not take effect until 10 January 1920. On that date, the Haya was transferred officially to Britain, Belgium, and Portugal. Also on that date, Tanganyika became the name of the British territory. During World War II, about 100,000 people from Tanganyika joined the Allied forces and were among the 375,000 Africans who fought with those forces. Tanganyikans fought in units of the King's African Rifles during the East African Campaign in Somalia and Abyssinia against the Italians, in Madagascar against the Vichy French during the Madagascar Campaign, and in Burma against the Japanese during the Burma Campaign. Tanganyika was an important source of food during this war, and its export income increased greatly compared to the pre war years of the Great Depression wartime demand, however, caused increased commodity prices and massive inflation within the colony. In 1954, Julius Nyerere transformed an organization into the politically oriented Tanganyika African National Union. TANU's main objective was to achieve national sovereignty for Tanganyika. A campaign to register new members was launched, and within a year, TANU had become the leading political organization in the country. 
Nyerere became Minister of British administered Tanganyika in 1960 and continued as Prime Minister when Tanganyika became independent in 1961. Post-colonial British rule came to an end on 9 December 1961, but for the first year of independence, Tanganyika had a governor-general who represented the British monarch. On 9 December 1962, Tanganyika became a democratic republic under an executive president, after the Zanzibar Revolution overthrew the Arab dynasty in neighbouring Zanzibar, which had become independent in 1963. The archipelago merged with mainland Tanganyika on 26 April 1964. On 29 October of the same year, the country was renamed the United Republic of Tanzania. Tan comes from Tanganyika and Zan from Zanzibar. The union of the two hitherto separate regions was controversial among many Zanzibaris even those sympathetic to the revolution but was accepted by both the Nyerere government and the revolutionary government of Zanzibar owing to shared political values and goals. Following Tanganyika's independence and unification with Zanzibar leading to the state of Tanzania, President Nyerere emphasized a need to construct a national identity for the citizens of the new country. To achieve this, Nyerere provided what is regarded as one of the most successful cases of ethnic repression and identity transformation in Africa. With over 130 languages spoken within its territory, Tanzania is one of the most ethnically diverse countries in Africa. Despite this obstacle, ethnic divisions remained rare in Tanzania when compared to the rest of the continent, notably its immediate neighbor, Kenya. Furthermore, since its independence, Tanzania has displayed more political stability than most African countries, particularly due to Nyerere's ethnic repression methods. In 1967, Nyerere's first presidency took a turn to the left after the Arusha Declaration, which codified a commitment to socialism as well as pan-Africanism. After the declaration, banks and many large industries were nationalized. Tanzania was also aligned with China, which from 1970 to 1975 financed and helped build the 1,860-kilometre-long Tazara railway from Dar es Salaam to Zambia. Nonetheless, from the late 1970s, Tanzania's economy took a turn for the worse, in the context of an international economic crisis affecting both developed and developing economies. From the mid-1980s, the regime financed itself by borrowing from the International Monetary Fund and underwent some reforms. Since then, Tanzania's gross domestic product per capita has grown and poverty has been reduced, according to a report by the World Bank. In 1992, the constitution of Tanzania was amended to allow multiple political parties. In Tanzania's first multi-party elections, held in 1995, the ruling Chama Cha Mapinduzi won 186 of the 232 elected seats in the National Assembly, and Benjamin M. Kappa was elected as president. Geography <laughs> 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 At 947,303 square kilometers, 365,756 square miles, Tanzania is the 13th largest country in Africa and the 31st largest in the world, ranked between the larger Egypt and smaller Nigeria. It borders Kenya and Uganda to the north, Rwanda, Burundi, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo to the west, and Zambia, Malawi, and Mozambique to the south. Tanzania is located on the eastern coast of Africa and has an Indian Ocean coastline approximately 1,424 kilometres long. It also incorporates several offshore islands, including Unguja, Zanzibar, Pemba, and Mafia. The country is the site of Africa's highest and lowest points, Mount Kilimanjaro, at 5,895 metres 19,341 feet above sea level, and the floor of Lake Tanganyika, at 352 metres 1,155 feet below sea level, respectively. Tanzania is mountainous and densely forested in the northeast, where Mount Kilimanjaro is located. Three of Africa's Great Lakes are partly within Tanzania. To the north and west lie Lake Victoria, Africa's largest lake, and Lake Tanganyika, the continent's deepest lake, known for its unique species of fish. To the southwest lies Lake Nyasa. Central Tanzania is a large plateau, with plains and arable land. The eastern shore is hot and humid, with the Zanzibar archipelago just offshore. 
Colombo Falls in the southwestern region of Rukwa is the second highest uninterrupted waterfall in Africa, and is located near the southeastern shore of Lake Tanganyika on the border with Zambia. The Menai Bay Conservation Area is Zanzibar's largest marine protected area. Climate Climate varies greatly within Tanzania. In the highlands, temperatures range between 10 and 20 degrees Celsius 50 and 68 degrees Fahrenheit during cold and hot seasons respectively. The rest of the country has temperatures rarely falling lower than 20 degrees Celsius 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The hottest period extends between November and February 25 to 31 degrees Celsius or 77.0 to 87.8 degrees Fahrenheit while the coldest period occurs between May and August 15 to 20 degrees Celsius or 59 to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Annual temperature is 20 degrees Celsius 68.0 degrees Fahrenheit. The climate is cool in high mountainous regions. Tanzania has two major rainfall regimes. One is unimodal, October to April, and the other is bimodal, October to December and March to May. The former is experienced in southern, central, and western parts of the country, and the latter is found in the north from Lake Victoria extending east to the coast. The bimodal regime is caused by the seasonal migration of the intertropical convergence zone. Topic: <laughs> Wildlife and conservation. Approximately 38% of Tanzania's land area is set aside in protected areas for conservation. Tanzania has 16 national parks, plus a variety of game and forest reserves, including the Ngorongoro Conservation Area. In western Tanzania, Gombe Stream National Park is the site of Jane Goodall's ongoing study of chimpanzee behavior, which started in 1960. Tanzania is highly biodiverse and contains a wide variety of animal habitats. On Tanzania's Serengeti Plain, white-bearded wildebeest and other bovids participate in a large-scale annual migration. Tanzania is home to about 130 amphibian and over 275 reptile species, many of them strictly endemic and included in the International Union for Conservation of Nature's Red Lists of Countries. Politics Topic. Government Tanzania is a one-party dominant state with the Chama Cha Mapinduzi party in power. From its formation until 1992, it was the only legally permitted party in the country. This changed on 1 July 1992, when the constitution was amended. John Magufuli won the October 2015 presidential election and secured a two-thirds majority in parliament. The other party or main opposition party in Tanzania is called Chama Cha Democracia na Mandaleo Chadima Swahili for Party for Democracy and Progress. In Zanzibar, the Civil United Front (CUF) is considered a main opposition political party. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Executive The President of Tanzania and the members of the National Assembly are elected concurrently by direct popular vote for five-year terms. The Vice President is elected for a five-year term at the same time as the President and on the same ticket. Neither the President nor the Vice President may be a member of the National Assembly. The President appoints a Prime Minister, subject to confirmation by the Assembly, to serve as the government's leader in the Assembly. The President selects his or her cabinet from Assembly members. Topic. Legislature All legislative power relating to mainland Tanzania and union matters is vested in the National Assembly, which is unicameral and has a maximum of 357 members. These include members elected to represent constituencies, the Attorney General, five members elected by the Zanzibar House of Representatives from among its own members, the special women's seats that constitute at least 30% of the seats that any party has in the Assembly, the Speaker of the Assembly if not otherwise a member of the Assembly, and the persons not more than 10 appointed by the President. The Tanzania Electoral Commission demarcates the mainland into constituencies in the number determined by the Commission with the consent of the President. Judiciary 
Tanzania's legal system is based on English common law. Tanzania has a four level judiciary. The lowest level courts on the Tanzanian mainland are the primary courts. In Zanzibar, the lowest level courts are the Qadis courts for Islamic family matters and the primary courts for all other cases. On the mainland, appeal is to either the district courts or the resident magistrates' courts. In Zanzibar, appeal is to the Qadis' appeal courts for Islamic family matters and the magistrates' courts for all other cases. From there, appeal is to the High Court of Mainland Tanzania or Zanzibar. No appeal regarding Islamic family matters can be made from the High Court of Zanzibar. Otherwise, the final appeal is to the Court of Appeal of Tanzania. The High Court of Mainland Tanzania has three divisions commercial, labor, and land, and 15 geographic zones. The High Court of Zanzibar has an industrial division, which hears only labor disputes. Mainland and union judges are appointed by the Chief Justice of Tanzania, except for those of the Court of Appeal and the High Court, who are appointed by the President of Tanzania. Tanzania is a party to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court. Human rights Throughout Tanzania, sex acts between men are illegal and carry a maximum penalty of life imprisonment. According to a 2007 Pew Research Center survey, 95% of Tanzanians believed that homosexuality should not be accepted by society. People with albinism living in Tanzania are often attacked, killed, or mutilated because of superstitions related to the black magical practice known as muti that say body parts of albinos have magical properties. Tanzania has the highest occurrence of this human rights violation among 27 African countries where muti is known to be practiced. Zanzibar The legislative authority in Zanzibar over all non-union matters is vested in the House of Representatives per the Tanzania Constitution or the Legislative Council per the Zanzibar Constitution. The Legislative Council has two parts, the President of Zanzibar and the House of Representatives. The President is Zanzibar's head of government and the chairman of the Revolutionary Council, in which the executive authority of Zanzibar is invested. Zanzibar has two vice presidents, with the first being from the main opposition party in the House. The second is from the party in power and is the leader of government business in the House. The President and the members of the House of Representatives have five year terms. The President selects ministers from members of the House of Representatives, with the ministers allocated according to the number of House seats won by political parties. The Revolutionary Council consists of the President, both Vice Presidents, all Ministers, the Attorney General of Zanzibar, and other House members deemed fit by the President. The House of Representatives is composed of elected members, ten members appointed by the President, all the regional commissioners of Zanzibar, the Attorney General, and appointed female members whose number must be equal to 30% of the elected members. The House determines the number of its elected members with the Zanzibar Electoral Commission determining the boundaries of each election constituency. In 2013, the House had 81 members, 50 elected members, 5 regional commissioners, the Attorney General, 10 members appointed by the President, and 15 appointed female members. <laughs> <laughs> Administrative subdivisions In 1972, local government on the mainland was abolished and replaced with direct rule from the central government. Local government, however, was reintroduced in the beginning of the 1980s, when the rural councils and rural authorities were re-established. Local government elections took place in 1983, and functioning councils started in 1984. In 1999, a local government reform program was enacted by the National Assembly, setting a comprehensive and ambitious agenda covering four areas political decentralization financial decentralization administrative decentralization and changed central local relations with the mainland government having overriding powers within the framework of the constitution as of 2016, Tanzania is divided into 31 regions, regions MKOA, 26 on the mainland and 5 in Zanzibar, 3 on Unguja, 2 on Pemba. In 2012, the 30 former regions were divided into 169 districts also known as local government authorities. 
Of those districts, 34 were urban units, which were further classified as three city councils Arusha, Mbeya, and Mwanza, 19 municipal councils, and 12 town councils. The urban units have an autonomous city, municipal, or town council and are subdivided into wards and MTAA. The non-urban units have an autonomous district council but are subdivided into village councils or township authorities first level and then into Vatangoji. The city of Dar es Salaam is unique because it has a city council whose aerial jurisdiction overlaps three municipal councils. The mayor of the city council is elected by that council. The 20-member city council is composed of 11 persons elected by the municipal councils, seven members of the National Assembly, and nominated members of parliament under special seats for women each municipal council also has a mayor the city council performs a coordinating role and attends to issues cutting across the three municipalities including security and emergency services the city of mwanza has a city council whose aerial jurisdiction overlaps two municipal councils topic <laughs> foreign relations Topic. Bilateral relations Apart from its border dispute with Malawi, Tanzania had cordial relations with its neighbors in 2012. Relations between Tanzania and Malawi have been tense because of a dispute over the country's Lake Nyasa Lake Malawi border. An unsuccessful mediation regarding this issue took place in March 2014. The two countries agreed in 2013 to ask the International Court of Justice to resolve the dispute should mediation be unsuccessful. Malawi, but not Tanzania, has accepted the compulsory jurisdiction of the ICJ. Relations between Tanzania and Rwanda deteriorated in 2013 when Tanzanian President Jakaya Kikwete said that if the Democratic Republic of the Congo could negotiate with some of its enemies, Rwanda should be able to do the same. Rwandan President Paul Kagame then expressed, "...contempt," for Kikwete's statement. The tension was renewed in May 2014 when, in a speech to the Tanzanian National Assembly, Foreign Affairs Minister Bernard Membe renewed his claim that Rwandans were causing instability in the DRC. Rwandan Foreign Affairs Minister Louise Mushikiwabo responded, as for Tanzania's foreign minister whose anti-Rwanda rant in parliament I heard, he would benefit from a lesson in the history of the region. Tanzania–China relations have strengthened in recent years as trade between the two countries and Chinese investment in Tanzanian infrastructure have increased rapidly. Relations with the United States are warm, with President Barack Obama visiting Tanzania in 2013. Tanzania's relations with other donor countries, including Japan and members of the European Union, are generally good, though donors are concerned about Tanzania's commitment to reducing government corruption. Topic. Multilateral relations Tanzania is a member of the East African Community along with Uganda, Kenya, Rwanda, and Burundi. According to the East African Common Market Protocol of 2010, the free trade and free movement of people is guaranteed, including the right to reside in another member country for purposes of employment. This protocol, however, has not been implemented because of work permit and other bureaucratic, legal, and financial obstacles. Tanzania is also a member of the Southern African Development Community. The EAC, the SADC, and the Common Market for Eastern and Southern Africa agreed in June 2011 to negotiate the creation of a tripartite free trade area spanning 26 African countries, with a goal to complete the first phase of negotiations within 36 months. As of 31 October 2014, Tanzania was contributing 2,253 soldiers and other personnel to various United Nations peacekeeping operations. The Tanzanian military is participating along with South African and Malawian militaries in the United Nations Force Intervention Brigade in the Democratic Republic of the Congo The United Nations Security Council authorized the force on 28 March 2013 to conduct targeted offensive operations to neutralize groups that threaten peace in the DRC. Tanzania was also participating in peacekeeping missions in the Darfur region of Sudan Unamid, Abye, control of which is contested between South Sudan and Sudan UNISFA, the Central African Republic MINUSCA, Lebanon UNIFIL, and South Sudan <laughs> <laughs> Military 
Topic: <laughs> Economy and Infrastructure. As of 2018, according to the IMF, Tanzania's gross domestic product (GDP) was an estimated $56.7 billion nominal or $176.5 billion on a purchasing power parity (PPP) basis. GDP per capita PPP was $3,457. From 2009 through 2013, Tanzania's per capita GDP based on constant local currency grew an average of 3.5% per year, higher than any other member of the East African Community and exceeded by only nine countries in Sub Saharan Africa the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Ethiopia, Ghana, Lesotho, Liberia, Mozambique, Sierra Leone, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. Tanzania's largest trading partners in 2012 for its US $5.5 billion in exports were South Africa, Switzerland, and China. Its imports totaled US $11.7 billion, with Switzerland, China, and the United Arab Emirates being the biggest partners. Tanzania weathered the Great Recession, which began in late 2008 or early 2009, relatively well. Strong gold prices, bolstering the country's mining industry, and Tanzania's poor integration into global markets helped to insulate the country from the downturn. Since the recession ended, the Tanzanian economy has expanded rapidly thanks to strong tourism, telecommunications, and banking sectors. According to the United Nations Development Programme, however, recent growth in the national economy has benefited only the very few, leaving out the majority of the population. Tanzania's 2013 Global Hunger Index was worse than any other country in the EAC except Burundi. The proportion of persons who were undernourished in 2010–12 was also worse than any other EAC country except Burundi. More about Tanzania Tanzania has made little progress towards reducing extreme hunger and malnutrition. The 2010 Global Hunger Index ranks the situation as alarming. Children in rural areas suffer substantially higher rates of malnutrition and chronic hunger, although urban rural disparities have narrowed as regards both stunting and underweight. Low rural sector productivity arises mainly from inadequate infrastructure investment, limited access to farm inputs, extension services and credit, limited technology as well as trade and marketing support, and heavy dependence on rain fed agriculture and natural resources. Approximately 68% of Tanzania's 44.9 million citizens live below the poverty line of $1.25 a day, and 16% of children under 5 are malnourished. The most prominent challenges Tanzania faces in poverty reduction are unsustainable harvesting of its natural resources, unchecked cultivation, climate change and water source encroachment. According to the United Nations Development Program (UNDP), there are very few resources for Tanzanians in terms of credit services, infrastructure or availability to improved agricultural technologies, which further exacerbates hunger and poverty in the country according to the UNDP. Tanzania ranks 159 out of 187 countries in poverty according to the United Nations Human Development Index 2014. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Agriculture. The Tanzanian economy is heavily based on agriculture, which in 2013 accounted for 24.5% of gross domestic product, provides 85% of exports, and accounted for half of the employed workforce. The agricultural sector grew 4.3% in 2012, less than half of the Millennium Development Goal target of 10.8%. 16.4% of the land is arable, with 2.4% of the land planted with permanent crops. Tanzania's economy relies on farming, but climate change has impacted their farming. Maize was the largest food crop on the Tanzania mainland in 2013 5.17 million tons, followed by cassava 1.94 million tons, sweet potatoes 1.88 million tons, beans 1.64 million tons, bananas 1.31 million tons, rice 1.31 million tons, and millet 1.04 million tons. 
Sugar was the largest cash crop on the mainland in 2013, 296,679 tons, followed by cotton, 241,198 tons, cashew nuts, 126,000 tons, tobacco, 86,877 tons, coffee, 48,000 tons, sisal, 37,368 tons, and tea, 32,422 tons. Beef was the largest meat product on the mainland in 2013, 299,581 tons, followed by lamb, mutton, 115,652 tons, chicken, 87,408 tons, and pork, 50,814 tons. According to the 2002 National Irrigation Master Plan, 29.4 million hectares in Tanzania are suitable for irrigation farming. However, only 310,745 hectares were actually being irrigated in June 2011. Topic: Industry, energy and construction. Industry and construction is a major and growing component of the Tanzanian economy, contributing 22.2% of GDP in 2013. This component includes mining and quarrying, manufacturing, electricity and natural gas, water supply and construction. Mining contributed 3.3% of GDP in 2013. The vast majority of the country's mineral export revenue comes from gold, accounting for 89% of the value of those exports in 2013. It also exports sizable quantities of gemstones, including diamonds and tanzanite. All of Tanzania's coal production, which totaled 106,000 short tons in 2012, is used domestically. Only 15% of Tanzanians had access to electric power in 2011. The government owned Tanzania Electric Supply Company Limited dominates the electric supply industry in Tanzania. The country generated 6.013 billion kWh of electricity in 2013, a 4.2% increase over the 5.771 billion kWh generated in 2012. Generation increased by 63% between 2005 and 2012. Almost 18% of the electricity generated in 2012 was lost because of theft and transmission and distribution problems. The electrical supply varies, particularly when droughts disrupt hydropower electric generation, rolling blackouts are implemented as necessary. The unreliability of the electrical supply has hindered the development of Tanzanian industry. In 2013, 49.7% of Tanzania's electricity generation came from natural gas, 28.9% from hydroelectric sources, 20.4% from thermal sources, and 1.0% from outside the country. The government has built a 532 kilometers 331 miles gas pipeline from M Nazi Bay to Dar es Salaam. This pipeline was expected to allow the country to double its electricity generation capacity to 3000 megawatts by 2016. The government's goal is to increase capacity to at least 10000 megawatts by 2025. According to PFC Energy, 25 to 30 trillion cubic feet of recoverable natural gas resources have been discovered in Tanzania since 2010, bringing the total reserves to over 43 trillion cubic feet by the end of 2013. The value of natural gas actually produced in 2013 was $52.2 million, a 42.7% increase over 2012. Commercial production of gas from the Songo Songo Island field in the Indian Ocean commenced in 2004, 30 years after it was discovered there. Over 35 billion cubic feet of gas was produced from this field in 2013, with proven, probable, and possible reserves totaling 1.1 trillion cubic feet. The gas is transported by pipeline to Dar es Salaam. As of 27 August 2014, TANESCO owed the operator of this field, Orca Exploration Group Inc. A newer natural gas field in M. Nazi Bay in 2013 produced about one-seventh of the amount produced near Songo Songo Island but has proven, probable, and possible reserves of 2.2 trillion cubic feet. Virtually all of that gas is being used for electricity generation in MTWARA. The Ruvuma and Nyuna regions of Tanzania have been explored mostly by the discovery company that holds a 75% interest, Aminex, and has shown to hold in excess of 3.5 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. A pipeline connecting offshore natural gas fields to Tanzania's commercial capital Dar es Salaam was completed at the end of April 2015. 
Topic: Tourism. Travel and tourism contributed 17.5% of Tanzania's gross domestic product in 2016 and employed 11.0% of the country's labor force, 1,189,300 jobs in 2013. Overall receipts rose from US$1.74 billion in 2004 to US$4.48 billion in 2013, and receipts from international tourists rose from US$1.255 billion in 2010 to US$2 billion in 2016. In 2016, 1,284,279 tourists arrived at Tanzania's borders compared to 590,000 in 2005. The vast majority of tourists visit Zanzibar or a northern circuit of Serengeti National Park, the Ngorongoro Conservation Area, Tarangir National Park, Lake Manyara National Park, and Mount Kilimanjaro. In 2013, the most visited national park was Serengeti, 452,485 tourists, followed by Manyara, 187,773, and Tarangir, 165,949. Topic. Banking The Bank of Tanzania is the central bank of Tanzania and is primarily responsible for maintaining price stability, with a subsidiary responsibility for issuing Tanzanian shilling notes and coins. At the end of 2013, the total assets of the Tanzanian banking industry were 19.5 trillion Tanzanian shillings, a 15% increase over 2012. Transport Most transport in Tanzania is by road, with road transport constituting over 75% of the country's freight traffic and 80% of its passenger traffic. The 86,500 km 53,700 miles road system is in generally poor condition. Tanzania has two railway companies, TAZARA, which provides service between Dar es Salaam and Kapiri M. Pashi in a copper mining district in Zambia, and Tanzania Railways Limited, which connects Dar es Salaam with central and northern Tanzania. Rail travel in Tanzania often entails slow journeys with frequent cancellations or delays, and the railways have a deficient safety record. In Dar es Salaam, there is a huge project of rapid buses, Dar Rapid Transit, DART, which connects suburbs of Dar es Salaam city. The development of the DART system consists of six phases and is funded by the African Development Bank, the World Bank, and the Government of Tanzania. The first phase began in April 2012, and it was completed in December 2015 and launched operations in May 2016. Tanzania has four international airports, along with over 100 small airports or landing strips. Airport infrastructure tends to be in poor condition. Airlines in Tanzania include Air Tanzania, Precision Air, Fastjet, Coastal Aviation, and Zanair. Communications In 2013, the communications sector was the fastest growing in Tanzania, expanding 22.8%. However, the sector accounted for only 2.4% of gross domestic product that year. As of 2011, Tanzania had 56 mobile telephone subscribers per 100 inhabitants, a rate slightly above the sub Saharan average. Very few Tanzanians have fixed line telephones. Approximately 12% of Tanzanians used the Internet as of 2011, though this number is growing rapidly. The country has a fiber-optic cable network that replaced unreliable satellite service, but Internet bandwidth remains very low. <laughs> Water supply and sanitation Water supply and sanitation in Tanzania has been characterized by decreasing access to improved water sources in the 2000s especially in urban areas, steady access to some form of sanitation around 93% since the 1990s, intermittent water supplies, and generally low quality of service. Many utilities are barely able to cover their operation and maintenance costs through revenues because of low tariffs and poor efficiency. There are significant regional differences, with the best performing utilities being Arusha, Moshi, and Tanga. The government of Tanzania has embarked on a major sector reform process since 2002. An ambitious national water sector development strategy that promotes integrated water resources management and the development of urban and rural water supply was adopted in 2006. 
Decentralization has meant that responsibility for water and sanitation service provision has shifted to local government authorities and is carried out by 20 urban utilities and about 100 district utilities, as well as by community owned water supply organizations in rural areas. These reforms have been backed by a significant increase of the budget starting in 2006, when the water sector was included among the priority sectors of the National Strategy for Growth and Reduction of Poverty. The Tanzanian water sector remains heavily dependent on external donors, with 88% of the available funds being provided by external donor organizations. Results have been mixed. For example, a report by Deutsche Gesellschaft für Internationale Zusammenarbeit noted that Despite heavy investments brought in by the World Bank and the European Union, the utility serving Dar es Salaam has remained one of the worst performing water entities in Tanzania. Topic: Science and Technology. Tanzania's first national science and technology policy was adopted in 1996. The objective of the government's Vision 2025 document was to «transform the economy into a strong, resilient and competitive one, buttressed by science and technology». Under the umbrella of the One UN Initiative, UNESCO and Tanzanian government departments and agencies formulated a series of proposals in 2008 for revising the «national science and technology policy». The total reform budget of $10 million was financed from the One UN Fund and other sources. UNESCO provided support for mainstreaming science, technology, and innovation into the new national growth and poverty reduction strategy for the mainland and Zanzibar, namely, Makukuta II and Mkuza II, including in the field of tourism. Tanzania's revised science policy was published in 2010. Entitled National Research and Development Policy. It recognizes the need to improve the process of prioritization of research capacities, develop international cooperation in strategic areas of research and development, and improve planning for human resources. It also makes provisions for the establishment of a national research fund. This policy was, in turn, reviewed in 2012 and 2013. In 2010, Tanzania devoted 0.38% of GDP to research and development. The global average in 2013 was 1.7% of GDP. Tanzania had 69 researchers in head counts per million population in 2010. In 2014, Tanzania counted 15 publications per million inhabitants in internationally catalogued journals, according to Thomson Reuters Web of Science, Science Citation Index expanded. The average for Sub-Saharan Africa was 20 publications per million inhabitants and the global average 176 publications per million inhabitants. Demographics According to the 2012 census, the total population was 44,928,923. The under 15 age group represented 44.1% of the population. The population distribution in Tanzania is uneven. Most people live on the northern border or the eastern coast, with much of the remainder of the country being sparsely populated. Density varies from 12 per square kilometer, 31 per square miles in the Katavi region to 3133 per square kilometer, 8110 per square miles in the Dar es Salaam region. Approximately 70% of the population is rural, although this percentage has been declining since at least 1967. Dar es Salaam, population 4,364,541, is the largest city and commercial capital. Dodoma population is located in the center of Tanzania, is the capital of the country, and hosts the National Assembly. The population consists of about 125 ethnic groups. The Sakuma, Nyamwezi, Chaga, and Haya peoples each have a population exceeding 1 million. Approximately 99% of Tanzanians are of African descent, with small numbers of Arab, European, and Asian descent. The majority of Tanzanians, including the Sakuma and the Nyamwezi, are Bantu. The population also includes people of Arab, Persian, and Indian origin, and small European and Chinese communities. Many also identify as Shirazis. 
Thousands of Arabs, Persians, and Indians were massacred during the Zanzibar Revolution of 1964. As of 1994, the Asian community numbered 50,000 on the mainland and 4,000 on Zanzibar. An estimated 70,000 Arabs and 10,000 Europeans lived in Tanzania. Some albinos in Tanzania have been the victims of violence in recent years. Attacks are often to hack off the limbs of albinos in the perverse superstitious belief that possessing the bones of albinos will bring wealth. The country has banned witch doctors to try to prevent the practice, but it has continued and albinos remain targets. According to 2010 Tanzanian government statistics, the total fertility rate in Tanzania was 5.4 children born per woman, with 3.7 in urban mainland areas, 6.1 in rural mainland areas, and 5.1 in Zanzibar. For all women aged 45 to 49, 37.3% had given birth to eight or more children, and for currently married women in that age group, 45.0% had given birth to that many children. Religion Official statistics on religion are unavailable because religious surveys were eliminated from government census reports after 1967. Religious leaders and sociologists estimated in 2007 that Muslim and Christian communities were approximately equal in size, each accounting for 30 to 40 percent of the population, with the remainder consisting of practitioners of other faiths, indigenous religions, and people of no religion. According to a 2014 estimate by the CIA World Factbook, 61.4% of the population was Christian, 35.2% was Muslim, 1.8% practiced traditional African religions, 1.4% were unaffiliated with any religion, and 0.2% followed other religions. Nearly the entire population of Zanzibar is Muslim. Of Muslims, 16% are Ahmadiyya although they are often not considered Muslims, 20% are non-denominational Muslims, 40% are Sunni, 20% are Shia, and 4% are Sufi. The Christian population is mostly composed of Roman Catholics and Protestants. Among Protestants, the large number of Lutherans and Moravians points to the German past of the country, while the number of Anglicans point to the British history of Tanganyika. Pentecostals and Adventists are also present because of missionary activity. All of them have had some influence in varying degrees from the Walakale movement East African revival, which has also been fertile ground for the spread of charismatic and Pentecostal groups. There are also active communities of other religious groups, primarily on the mainland, such as Buddhists, Hindus, and Baha'is. Languages <inaudible> 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 More than 100 languages are spoken in Tanzania, making it the most linguistically diverse country in East Africa. Among the languages spoken are all four of Africa's language families, Bantu, Cushitic, Nilotic, and Khoisan. There are no de jure official languages in Tanzania, Swahili is used in parliamentary debate, in the lower courts, and as a medium of instruction in primary school. English is used in foreign trade, in diplomacy, in higher courts, and as a medium of instruction in secondary and higher education. The Tanzanian government, however, has plans to discontinue English as a language of instruction. In connection with his Ujamaa social policies, President Nyerere encouraged the use of Swahili to help unify the country's many ethnic groups. Approximately 10% of Tanzanians speak Swahili as a first language, and up to 90% speak it as a second language. Many educated Tanzanians are trilingual, also speaking English. The widespread use and promotion of Swahili is contributing to the decline of smaller languages in the country. Young children increasingly speak Swahili as a first language, particularly in urban areas. Ethnic community languages other than Kiswahili are not allowed as a language of instruction. Nor are they taught as a subject, though they might be used unofficially illegally in some cases in initial education. Television and radio programs in an ECL are prohibited, and it is nearly impossible to get permission to publish a newspaper in an ECL. There is no department of local or regional African languages and literatures at the University of Dar es Salaam. Arabic is co official in Zanzibar. The Sanda people speak a language that may be related to the co-languages of Botswana and Namibia, while the language of the Hadzabi people, although it has similar click consonants, is arguably a language isolate. The language of the Iraqw people is Cushitic. Education 
In 2012, the literacy rate in Tanzania for persons aged 15 and over was estimated to be 67.8%. Education is compulsory until children reach age 15. In 2010, 74.1% of children aged 5 to 14 years were attending school. The primary school completion rate was 80.8% in 2012. Healthcare As of 2012, life expectancy at birth was 61 years. The under 5 mortality rate in 2012 was 54 per 1,000 live births. The maternal mortality rate in 2013 was estimated at 410 per 100,000 live births. Prematurity and malaria were tied in 2010 as the leading cause of death in children under 5 years old. The other leading causes of death for these children were, in decreasing order, malaria, diarrhea, HIV, and measles. Malaria in Tanzania causes death and disease and has a huge economic impact. There were approximately 11.5 million cases of clinical malaria in 2008. In 2007 08, malaria prevalence among children aged 6 months to 5 years was highest in the Kagera region .1 on the western shore of Lake Victoria and lowest in the Arusha region. .1 According to the 2010 Tanzania Demographic and Health Survey 2010, 15% of Tanzanian women had undergone female genital mutilation and 72% of Tanzanian men had been circumcised. FGM is most common in the Manyara, Dodoma, Arusha, and Singida regions and non-existent in Zanzibar. The prevalence of male circumcision was above 90% in the eastern Dar es Salaam, Pwani, and Moragoro regions, northern Kilimanjaro, Tanga, Arusha, and Manyara regions, and central areas Dodoma and Singida regions, and below 50% only in the southern highlands zone Mbeya, Iringa, and Rukwa regions. 0 .2012 data showed that 53% of the population used improved drinking water sources defined as a source that by nature of its construction and design, is likely to protect the source from outside contamination, in particular from fecal matter", and 12% used improved sanitation facilities defined as facilities that, "...likely hygienically separates human excreta from human contact", but not including facilities shared with other households or open to public use. <laughs> HIV, AIDS. The World Health Organization estimated in 2012 that the prevalence of HIV was 3.1%, although the Tanzania HIV, AIDS and Malaria Indicator Survey 2011-12 found that, on average, 5.1% of those tested in the 15–49 age group were HIV positive. Antiretroviral treatment coverage for people living with HIV was 37% in 2013, compared to 19% in 2011. According to a 2013 report published by the Joint United Nations Program on HIV and AIDS that compares 2012 with 2001 data, AIDS deaths have decreased 33%, new HIV infections have decreased 36%, and new HIV infections among children have decreased 67%. Women <inaudible> 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 Women and men have equality for the law. The government signed the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women in 1985. Nearly three out of ten females reported having experienced sexual violence before the age of 18. The prevalence of female genital mutilation has decreased. School girls are reinstated back to school after delivery. The police force administration strives to separate the gender desks from normal police operations to enhance confidentiality of the processing of women victims of abuse. Most of the abuses and violence against women and children occurs at the family level. The Constitution of Tanzania requires that women to constitute at least 30% of all elected members of National Assembly. The gender differences in education and training have implications later in life of these women and girls. Unemployment is higher for females than for males. The right of a female employee to maternity leave is guaranteed in labor law. Topic: Culture. Topic: Literature. Tanzania's literary culture is primarily oral. 
Major oral literary forms include folktales, poems, riddles, proverbs, and songs. The greatest part of Tanzania's recorded oral literature is in Swahili, even though each of the country's languages has its own oral tradition. The country's oral literature has been declining because of the breakdown of the multi-generational social structure, making transmission of oral literature more difficult, and because increasing modernization has been accompanied by the devaluation of oral literature, Tanzania's written literary tradition is relatively undeveloped. Tanzania does not have a lifelong reading culture, and books are often expensive and hard to come by. Most Tanzanian literature is in Swahili or English. Major figures in Tanzanian written literature include Shaban Robert, considered the father of Swahili literature, Muhammad Sali Farsi, Faraji Katalambula, Adam Shafi Adam, Muhammad Said Abdallah, Said Ahmed Muhammad Kamas, Muhammad Suleiman Muhammad, Euphrates Kezilahabi, Gabriel Ruambika, Ibrahim Hussein, May Materu Balasidya, Fadhi M. Tanga, Abdul Razak Gurna, and Panina O. Malama. Painting and sculpture Two Tanzanian art styles have achieved international recognition. The Tingatinga School of Painting, founded by Edward Said Tingatinga, consists of brightly colored enamel paintings on canvas, generally depicting people, animals, or daily life. After Tingatinga's death in 1972, other artists adopted and developed his style, with the genre now being the most important tourist oriented style in East Africa. Historically, there were limited opportunities for formal European art training in Tanzania, and many aspiring Tanzanian artists left the country to pursue their vocation. Sports Football is very popular throughout the country. The most popular professional football clubs in Dar es Salaam are the Young Africans FC and Simba SC. The Tanzania Football Federation is the governing body for football in the country. Other popular sports include basketball, netball, boxing, volleyball, athletics, and rugby. Cinema Tanzania has a popular film industry known as Bongo Movie. See also Index of Tanzania-related articles Outline of Tanzania Notes Sources This article incorporates text from a free content work Licensed under CC by SA IGO, 3.0 UNESCO Science Report, Towards 2030, UNESCO. To learn how to add open license text to Wikipedia articles, please see Wikipedia, Adding Open License Text to Wikipedia. For information on reusing text from Wikipedia, please see the terms of use. References External links Official website Wikimedia Atlas of Tanzania Geographic data related to Tanzania at OpenStreetMap Tanzania at Curlie Tanzania Corruption Profile from the Business Ani Corruption Portal <laughs>